Hi guys and good morning. So how is everybody doing? Now I've been having a couple of ideas lately, which is a generic modding video. Now you might say, what the hell does that mean? Well, some of you like myself have very old goggles that you want to bring new life into. You know, maybe you went ahead and got the Iomwe V2s from Stu, or maybe you went ahead and got the Fat Shark HDOs and maybe they're still messed up or in service and you're waiting for, you're still using your older goggle but you were so happy that you got your fat shark because you wanted to try out the new modules like the rapid fire and the other things. I have no idea. It's just a hype, you know, I, for me personally. So, uh, but anyways, back to my topic. I want to create a generic video that teaches you how to mod any goggle, any goggle. Very simple. All you need is one tool. It's recommended to have this tool and um, it's, it's, going to be recommended for a lot of upcoming videos anyways this little oscilloscope i'll leave it linked down below and i highly recommend you get the same one as me for a couple reasons now i'll leave an amazon link i think you can find this on amazon i'll leave an amazon link as well as a banggood link and wherever the hell i could find it and if you could use that link i'll be straight up with you it'll really support the channel not only that you're going to learn a bunch of things and you're going to learn a lot of crazy cool things with this guy so I'm planning, I have an old, I just, I found my old Eosheen goggle. I can't find it. It was the Eosheen D2, not the Pro, not the Pro. I know many of you want the mod for the Pro, but you can get the same idea with using this guy. I know it's a little bit expensive, it's like 80 bucks or so, but it's use, if you're really going to get into this, it's, it's well worth its money. You can find so many things, debug so many things, and through this channel, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so it's going to be a generic video which tells you what to look for and how to see the signal because if you're just looking for one thing then they all look pretty much almost exactly alike and uh, you'll see that in the video and you have to find this pin that has a specific looking signal which you can see with the oscilloscope then you know it's your video signal after that all you need is three wires that's it three wires and you're good and you're obviously the receiver the fat shark modded receiver that you want to plug into the camera but then you have to figure out a way to attach it if you the way do you want double side tape stick it on whatever you want you can do as you please now i think this video is a very good video because it, it can also help people who have some knowledge create a little video of the specific goggle that you want and i'm gonna go on a emailing spray which emailing almost every goggle manufacturer see if they want to send me goggles and just modify one after the other and then after a while i'm pretty sure it's the people that are constantly watching my channel will know and figure out what to look for and how to do it so i think overall it's a very good um start because it's it's not really difficult all you need is three little wires you know sometimes four but that's for audio but for me i don't care about audio video ground five volt done now most of the time the goggles don't give you five volt they would give you three volt and what you would have to do is, depending on the input, some goggles take a 2S input, some goggles take a 1S input. If your goggle is being powered up with a 1S LiPo or whatever it is, the 1S input, which is 3.7 volt, it's written on your battery, by the way. Then you're gonna need something called a boost, uh, a, a step up converter, which boosts like three volts to five volts. And that's how you give power to the, uh, uh, the Fat Shark module. Now, <clears throat> if your goggle, is getting a 2s lipo or a 3s lipo it takes whatever the hell lipo then you might if you can't find a 5 volt which i think would be very difficult if it, you know what you would want to do is probably get a, a step down converter these little little cheap ones i'll leave them linked down below you can check them out they're really really cheap and um what, what what those do is they basically step up any volt well not any voltage there's a specific limit but they step down any voltage up to five volts you just Tune it to 5 volts with your multimeter. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's very simple. There's a lot of things online about it. It's it's a must-have little... These are always a must-have. You could use them for absolutely anything. It's ridiculous. You could buy like 10 of them for like 3 bucks. Uh, these are always, always a must. I have them over 50 in my shop. So, they're really tiny. And uh, you could use them for almost anything. I used to use those back in the day when the flight control would have a lot of noise. And there was no voltage regulator for the VTX. And I would just set that up as an 8 volt output so it was very useful so that's one thing and again everything is linked down below if you can go ahead and check those out those great support channel and it'll be it'll have you be ready for the future and upcoming videos now what else do we have 
Um, let's see. All right, so I'm also thinking of doing a video which is the anatomy of the BL Heli S ESC. Now, later on, we'll do the 32, but we'll start with the S because I'm pretty sure most of the people have BL Heli S ESCs and not BL Heli 32 ESCs. So that's one thing. Um, basically, mm, what I'm going to try to aim to do, it's really difficult. I'm still trying to get my mind to process it. I'm just thinking about it like throughout the day when I'm driving or something. Is fresh, I think we should start with the BB2 chip. That's the most common, and that's going to be found in all BL Heli S ESCs, which is the microcontroller unit, which is also known as the CPU. So we'll start with that one. Now, I have plenty of ESCs to go through, and, um, you know, I think we'll start with the BB2 chip. We'll call it the, the ESC anatomy, the BL Heli S anatomy or something. We'll start from the BB2 chip and work our way down to uh, MOSFET drivers, down to the MOSFETs, if it's a direct connection, if it's not a direct connection. Um, maybe one of the bad MOSFETs that burnt on the, f on the, you know, for example, let's just say you replace the MOSFETs on the ESC and the issue is still there. Well, that could, could possibly be if you didn't have an LED, I mean, I mean why do I keep calling it LED driver, a MOSFET driver, a dedicated FET driver, you could have, uh, burnt one of the pins that was controlling that phase. And it's very possible and it does happen and it can happen. So you can go and try to figure out what to look for. So that's, I think that's something very nice and very good. And also, um, another thing is, let's just say it did have the uh, MOSFET driver and the MOSFET driver is the one that, that has a damaged pin. Now, these are just theoretical and these are very possible. And I'm going to make sure I figure out a way to actually burn them. Like right now, I went again looking for the burnt things that I have and I still couldn't find them. So I just found this omnibus that I'll never use and what I will do is I'm going to try to burn it basically, reverse polarity and um, or induce some kind of a huge ass voltage spike in this and then just go about trying to figure out what the hell happened in here. So uh, that's something I really want to do. I think it'd be very interesting. But I think, let me know, like I mentioned before, pause the video every time you want to comment about a specific thing I'm talking about. So what do you guys think? of the generic modding goggles modding video basically the generic or universal fat shark mod on almost every goggle so what do you guys think of that video i think it's going to be i i truly believe it's going to be very useful and it'll open the gate we're going to possibly see a bunch of posts on rc groups forums even youtube people modding their own goggles and then some other people following it so but i'm also going to be going to emailing uh spree trying to get as many goggles as i can and just modding them. And that's it. Maybe giving them away because I, I I don't need so many. I just use my fast sharks always. That's it. So yeah, that's something. Uh, I'll leave a link to everything in the sections down below for the modding part. You know what you might need, like the step down convert. Those are like super cheap, like three for ten, like ten of them for like three bucks. And and a couple of the step ups usually a little bit more expensive, like fifty cents a little bit more expensive. Uh, I'll leave some of those also down below. And um, I'll also, also I'll link some small low ESR capacitors, some Rubicons. Get it with that because sometimes some of these voltage regulators, because they're switching regulators. And uh, when it's switching, that, that it creates noise. On specific voltage levels, it can create noise. All right, so the voltage regulators themselves usually are switching vo switching regulators, which do create some noise at specific voltages. Some voltages will run cleaner. So if you set, like I know for the little one, 8.4 volts is the cleanest. So what you want, you're probably going to want some little tiny low ESR capacitors. I'll link some of them down below. They're really cheap. You get like 10 of them for something. So I'll leave that like group down below. So if you want to go and check those out. Uh, what else do we have? So... Uh, yeah, the anatomy of the BL Heli S ESC. What to expect, what kind of signals to look for. Obviously, we're going to be using this oscilloscope. Uh, I'll see where you could find it for cheap, and uh, I'll leave them also linked down below. So that's something as well. What else do we have here? Um, at the current moment in time, I think that's really it right now. Let me know what you guys think of that. I think that's the video I'm about to start with, which, which is the generic Fat Shark mod video. So... I think that's it. I really do. I'm going to grab my Eosheen uh, D2s. They're not the pros. They're the first version that came out, which is the version that I had. And uh, maybe take them apart and uh, go through it. It's just, it's all of it. It's just three wires and a possible voltage regulator. For example, that one, the, the, the input that it takes is it takes a 2S. It comes with a 2S battery. So we're going to need a step down voltage regulator because the Fat Shark modules take five volts. So we need a step, whatever it is that's coming in down to five volts. 
to give it 5 volts because usually on the internal boards they give 3.3 volts for the receivers so that's also something you need to take into consideration and you just need to find the video input basically the video input is like if you played PlayStation back in the day you know that yellow wire that's all we're looking for the hole for the yellow wire that's it and you just find it and then kill the current internal receiver and then just add yours and you're good to go just that simple there's there's really nothing to it and um yeah so let me know what you guys think i'll leave a link to everything down below obviously if you're using those greatly support the channel and uh you could also use the you could also join my patreon dollar to a month can go an absolute long way and i do some awesome giveaways there so you can go ahead and check that out it's a win-win situation and i will see you in a couple hours peace out guys